Sherry, you know that I prayed for you. God delivered way beyond what I could have ever asked for. There's many things that I love about you. The first thing that comes to my mind is that you are a God seeker. Uh, you fight for what you love. I love your intelligence. I love your independence. I love the fact that many people call on you daily to pray for them. I love the fact that you're a dreamer. You can see and understand that life is more than what we can see, feel, and touch. And I want to dream with you. James, you are a breath of fresh air. You embody the qualities and characteristics of the man that I was raised to be a godly woman for. Your kindness and attentiveness immediately drew me in, but your heart for God is everything to me. You are my best friend and the one I desire to do life with. I know that because you're a God seeker, that when spiritual warfare does arise, I've got somebody that's gonna fight with me. I'm excited about where we're going in life. I can't imagine doing this with anybody else but you. The one thing that I'm going to do is love you. From this point forward, I will love you. I take you to be my husband, the one I laugh with, the one I cry with, the one I pray with, the one I build with, and the one I create a lifetime of memories with. Through our union, we will accomplish more and impact the lives of our family and others more than we could alone. I'm honored to do the toast today. And there was something that Sherry whispered to me. She said, this is the wedding. This is what it was always supposed to be. And I looked at it and I said to myself, I cannot wait till I whisper back to her, this is the marriage. You got to choose to love again. And so I want you to join in with me in honoring my sister and my brother today. We salute you. I'll pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride.